Hello, it's uh, Ron Parlow here with uh, Can- Canadian Bodybuilding Radio.com, and I'm interviewing two of Canada's uh, best athletes getting ready for nationals this year. I have Jody Wald and Mike McLeod here with me. Um, they did a chest and bicep workout today, so uh, some really good footage if you want to check that out. And uh, we're just going to get to know both of them a little bit. Uh, uh, Jody, uh, I know you did nationals last year, uh, so why don't you just give everybody out there a little bit of uh, background as to how you got to this level and what your plans are for this year. Oh, yeah, I got to this level. I actually was uh, invited to be in a wedding party. So uh, at that time, I was a little overweight and thought, well, I better hit the gym and made it uh, short and sweet, got a trainer and and did my first show at the end of 2002. And I just uh, it continued from there. It, uh, I did three shows within a year span. Not, not uh, It was the transition of the year, but I did the Muscle Beach and then uh, Provincials and Nationals right after 10 months of training. Wow, 10 months all the way to Nationals. And how did you finish that first Nationals? Actually, I, I, I was sixth. Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad after less than a year. Okay. Uh, so uh, tell us about last year. I know you had a really successful year in a lot of ways. A little bit of disappointment there with missing the pro card so close. But just give everybody a breakdown as to exactly how close you were last year. Yeah. I, I uh, First year dieting with Dave Palumbo. Um, I uh, decided to go to North Americans last year. And it was just a fabulous show. Um, it was it was quick, great competitors. It was a large class, and I won the class uh, in Cleveland last year. And then I decided to uh, continue on. Uh, we went and hopped into New York and stayed with Dave. And then I went to Montreal and and did the Canadians. Placed second. Uh, there was uh, great competitors there, and and I'll go back and try again this year. So uh, uh, just let everybody know exactly what weight class you compete in. Well, the U.S. and Canada are different. They have an extra weight class in the U.S., so um, I fit right into the light heavyweight in the U.S., and uh, in Canada, it's the heavyweight. Okay, so you won the light heavyweight at North Americans, and then you uh, play second in the heavyweight. And uh, so you're basically one person away from a pro card at both shows. I am, yeah. Okay, okay. So what's the plan for this year? Um, I'll try my hand at nationals again, and... uh, I, uh, I am looking forward to going to the North Americans again. Uh, we'll see what holds out at each show. and uh, Hopefully you don't have to go. Hopefully I don't have to go. <laughs> yeah, and I know the feeling. Okay, and this is Mike McLeod here. Um, now, Mike, I've known you for a long time since you uh, first started competing. And um, you've had a, an interesting road. You've never quit, never given up. You've had some bad placings and then some great placings. Give everyone a little bit of an idea about... Uh, how this uh, how this road's been for you because it hasn't come easy. No, it hasn't. It's been quite interesting. I uh, started out need to gain some weight for hockey, and uh, so I went for a summer and gained 50 pounds. And they said I was too heavy. So then I uh, went to see Brian and Donna. Did my first show. Didn't do the greatest. You're talking about Brian and Donna Logue from Alberta here. They're very famous here. Yes. And uh, didn't play so well. So it just kind of gave me some more drive. And uh, got back in the gym right after the show. Put on some more weight. And then died it with Ron the next year. Uh, won that year. Um, of course, Ron's clients always win, so what's new? <laughs> and, and, now, and now you're competing against me. Yes, now I'm competing against. This kind of like the old lion, young lion thing here. We're going against each other now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's, we've been head-to-head a few times before, so it's always fun to uh, be on stage with uh, guys that you're friends with and train with in the gym. And, um, you know, I know there's a lot of uh, real competitive nature at this level, but, uh, you know, that all kind of goes out the window the morning of the show, all the work's done, and you look around the room and you're like, hey, how's it going, man? So I know that's how it always is with you and me. But yeah. no, Exactly. I mean, it's, you, you can do your best to you get ready, and, and that's all you can do. You know? there's, no, there's no point in holding against anybody because you know, it's all up to the judges at that point. So you, uh, you actually placed last in your very first show. Is that not true? Yeah, very true. So yeah. that's, that's just, you know, I have a lot of guys uh, come up to me after shows say, you know, is this it for me? Is this the end of the road? And I always, I always use you as an example. I'm like, well, who, who's one of the biggest guys you know around here? And they all, well, Mike. And I'm like, well, he was where you are right now at your first show. So, so that's a good example. Um, what, what is your uh, uh, off-season weight when you started dieting? And what are you looking at coming on stage this year at? Uh, the most I got this year was 293. Um, held it for about a month. And then uh, I'm sitting around 270 right now in the morning. 
and Dave figures around 250, 255, somewhere in there. So that would be a vast improvement over any other show you've done as far as uh, contest stage weight. Yeah, oh, definitely. Last year, we ha- I died with Ron again last year. Um, we had an issue the night of the show. I couldn't stop sweating. I lost 12 pounds in a matter of 12 hours. You got extremely dehydrated by eating. Yeah, it was, it was weird. But, uh, but you still, that was still the best you'd look to date. But this year you want to trump that for sure, 20 pounds heavier. So. Uh, definitely. So. Okay. So uh, we're sitting about eight and a half weeks out from the Nationals this year. So everybody's uh, getting pretty hungry in more ways than one. So um, it's going to be an exciting eight weeks. And uh, good luck to all the competitors out there. Is there anything, uh, any thanks you want to give uh, before we close the interview, Jody? You know, I think the most thanks I want to give to is Mike. Uh, I mean, I, I have to admit, he, he's the one that pushes me forward in the gym. You know, can, just it, it's it's really great to have a partner there that, that you know, when on your down days, you it just keeps you pumping. At home, too, um, talk about the epitome of a bodybuilder. Um, clean food, for the most part. He'll have his cheat meals, of course, but... He, a year-round dedicated bodybuilder. It's 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 really uplifting for me. And and one thing I got to say before I pass the microphone to Mike is, uh, you know, uh, everybody in this sport has something that uh, is a little bit. In, there's some guys that have something that's really interesting about them. Um, and you know, I have to say, Mike's one of the strongest bodybuilders uh, generally overall I've ever seen in the gym. I've seen guys lift some heavy weights here and there, do some impressive lifts, but. You know, you're a true, you know, five, six plate squatter, four plate bencher year round. And, um, you know, there's not a lot of guys uh, bodybuilding uh, that, that do that all the time. So, uh, you know, that's a kudos out to you. Uh, any final thanks from you? Yeah, I'd like to thank Jody too. Uh, you know, she's great. Um, she keeps me motivated too. You know, living with a top national athlete, you can't, you know, you got expectations you got to live up to. So, and Dave, you know, he's great, awesome yeah. coach. So, yeah. Yeah, two of Dave's clients, uh, two of Canada's best. Uh, this is Big Ron, Mike McLeod, Jody Wald, CanadianBodybuildingRadio.com.